Ascension Symptoms, 3D and 5D Earth, What is Happening? We would like to explain a bit more about the Earth, the new energies and ascension symptoms as they present themselves at this time. The Earth, or what many like to call the new Earth has been receiving new energies, these energies are of a fifth dimensional level, or frequency. Now fifth dimensional level or frequency is not just one frequency. It is a range of frequency. This frequency is coming through a barrier that has been in place for millions of years and in reality there is a barrier between each dimension. This barrier allow energy to flow down into the 3D but going upwards into 5D is a different thing, as the barrier is preventing you from easily moving into the 5D frequencies. Reason for this is that to move fully into a 5D reality, more is required of you. In the 3D reality you can follow the herd so to speak, in the 5D reality you carry more responsibility, more is required of you as far as creating. In 3D you can suffice with just feeling good about sending some energy as to what you think can be improved within the 3D reality. In 5D you actually have to work and know how to work the energies to create a difference, but a difference that is not reliant upon just giving you a good feeling. What is happening is that the Earth reality is expanding itself from being just in a D3 range, into a range of 3D through 5D. It is not changing into 5D only. 3D will always be part of the Earth reality. All that incarnate, and that includes you if you reincarnate, will incarnate into the 3D energies as this is what the physical body incarnation requires at this moment. So even if you now are within or have expanded yourself into the 5D frequencies, your next incarnation will be in 3D again. It will however be easier to break through the barrier and expand into 5D. Going through the barrier is what gives you the ascension symptoms, and pushing through the barrier requires a lot from the physical body. Many will feel tired, have pains and aches. For many this results in giving up and or slowing down their progress significantly. And moving through the 3D slash 5D barrier is only the beginning, the responsibility becomes even greater when you move further and expand into higher dimensional levels. The symptoms are also affected by influences like, cords, implants and more. You have seen many upon Earth now in an awakening period, you can see the election cycle within the United States. It doesn't mean they will expand into the fifth dimensional frequencies, but it is a start for many years to come. The ascension process or in reality the expansion process of the Earth reality is not something that will be accomplished in a short amount of time. You will have gone through many incarnations until the full dimensional reach of the Earth reality has been accomplished. The ones waking up now, feel the energies, but are not consciously aware of the energies but there are two ways they are being affected. You can see half of the people waking up and become in reality more selfish. In this way, they are moving even deeper into the third dimensional reality. The other half is waking up and realizing they have to do something not just for themselves but for the country, others. The same principle applies to a country as it does to the human. You cannot take care of others unless you have taken care of yourself. But you cannot create a different reality by being selfish, you can only create by knowing that once you are in a good place, you can assist others finding their own good place. Which might not always be the same as your good place. In reality no one has the same good place. So when a country is in a good place it can assist other countries to find their own good place. Emotions play a large role in this, as emotions can guide you but also stare you away from what needs to be done, you carry the responsibility. Once you move or expand into the higher dimensional frequencies you are the one creating, but creating from a different perspective than just the human perspective. Sometimes the human has to step aside, and this is the biggest hurdle for many to fully expand themselves into the fifth dimensional frequencies and above. The human will have to follow the guidance as to what is needed for the human consciousness and physical consciousness, to fully be able to expand into the fifth dimensional consciousness and frequencies. The human will have many aversions in this process, and this will not just be physical symptoms. 
Many times the human mind will adversely react to something, and refuse something that the higher self-consciousness will introduce. Trusting higher parts of your consciousness is not easy for the human mind as it relies upon a physical way of proof, and many have not found a way to trust and see their spiritual parts to see the proof. What many are seeing spiritually is what is within the barrier, and within the barrier the spiritual reality is distorted by the physical consciousness experiences. Feeling or even knowing you are going through changes is not the same as becoming the changes. Feeling and knowing is still a human experience that cannot always be trusted, as there are many ways the human experience of feeling and knowing is influenced by the barrier, and what you carry within the physical energy bodies, as well as what you carry within the spiritual energy bodies. The truth is that a lot of time will pass, and many incarnations, before you will see the effects of what you are doing or starting now. Petra Margolis May 27, 2016 Copyright Copyright 2016 www.ascendmasters.org Message may be posted.